and welcome to Answer a Day. Today's episode, I solve the P equals NP problem. But first, last time's best question and answer. And that was from the book. Wow, what was the inspiration for that piece of poetry? About three today's. So about P equals NP. You know, I thought I'd explain it, but the more I read about it, the less I actually understand it. So there's this puzzle called the traveling salesman problem, and it's about trying to find the shortest route between a number of cities and then returning to your hometown. Now, the problem isn't necessarily that hard to solve, but if you try to solve it with a computer, then the first thing you're probably going to try is try every possible solution and see what the best one is. But in this case, there's a problem with that. If you have one city, you have only one solution. But if you have two cities, you have two solutions. But if you have three cities, you get four solutions. And if you have four cities, you get eight solutions. And if you have five cities, you get 16 solutions. And that goes on and on and on. So to give you an idea of how hard this is, 10 cities is kind of doable. 20 cities is not doable. 40 cities, if you would get one grain of rice for every possible solution, you would have more rice than there is in the world. Now the difficulty of this problem is called NP, and the thing about that is there is a different kind of problem that's called just P, but the weird thing is that scientists have not actually been able to prove that P is easier than NP. So if someone proves this, and it turns out that they're actually the same amount of difficult, then we can just solve the traveling salesman problem, like BAM! And something else cool is that trying to find somebody's password on the internet is like, tra is like solving the traveling salesman problem, but with like a thousand cities. So it's practically impossible. But if it turns out that P is equal to NP, then suddenly it becomes really easy, and you can find everybody's password on the internet and just steal all the stuff. And on top of that, the first person who solves the problem gets a million dollar prize. So I thought I'd solve that problem, and it uh, turns out that P is not equal to NP. Kind of an anti-climax, I know. So let's get on with today's answer. Wow, that just solved all my computer problems. All right, camera's getting full. So, see you next time.